So, uh, hope everybody's well. We are continuing our journey, the kiss of life journey. Now, we have seen this, because I just had a conversation about it with a man, Kai Gucci, fellow Belgian in chat, fellow Belgian, is Alosu? Nice. And uh, bad news is one we saw, and I just uh, gave myself a rope. I was like, oh yeah, I remember this one. Actually, let me put this on my playlist too. Let me put this on the vibe playlist because I've been, because uh, I got two daughters, right? And uh, it's it's always thinking, what what music do I play for my daughters? I don't, I don't want to play them the rap music that I listen to, you know. So when I'm with them in the car, I don't want to be blasting Tupac. You get me? Or Biggie or stuff like that. Or 50 Cent because it's just not for kids' ears. So, but sometimes this K-pop stuff. It's just got, you know, got nice melody, it's audibly pleasing, and, and a lot of times it's cool. Sometimes some of the K-pop songs are a little naughty naughty, so I'm like, no, 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 not that. But I think this uh, this joint's really good, you know what I'm talking about? So, and my kids really like it, so they be dancing to it and stuff, and I'll be like, yeah, you go, you go, you know, hit that, hit that, yeah, yeah that gritty, right? They actually know how to do the gritty. They taught me how to do the gritty. I had no idea what it was. They just started doing it. I'm like, what the fuck is this dance? Kill it. We are checking out. We're starting off with Nobody Knows. So this is a donor request by Kai Gucci. Welcome to everybody here in the uh, chat. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope people on YouTube y'all watching. Hope y'all are enjoying the, the frequent uploads on the K-pop channel. Hit us with a like or subscribe. It's up to you. Do what you want. But support the original creator. The link is in the description. Let's get it. Like. Wait, hold up, what? The year holds a support meeting in the name of his daughter. One thing I want to say, I appreciate the uh, K-pop, um, um, you know, the, the, the content they put out. They almost always have English subtitles. Like, I want to just appreciate that. Oh, she nabbed the key. She stole the key. Second try. Okay, this is a bop that, yes, this is going on my playlist, too, because I like it. It's not just something like, oh, I'm going to show this to my daughters or, well, play the song to my daughters, of course. I do not show them music videos, just I don't want to, I don't want to show them music videos, but I do like them to enjoy music. And, of course, your biggest influence of music is usually what you grew up listening to in a household. You know what I'm talking about? So I am their biggest uh, influence of music, basically, because I show them all this stuff. I choose what to show them. So it's, it sets them on a good path I think uh, this so remember on the previous reactions we were talking about you know on the K-pop stuff some of the J-pop stuff we were talking about how there's a resurgence of, of uh, classic genres let's put it like that where they would take boom bap hip hop as an example they would bring it back with a modern touch this is that R&B stuff this is that Destiny's Child vibe a little bit you get me they bring in that back with a little modern touch, and I and I and I don't mind this at all. I think this is this sounds really good. Y'all got y'all can let me know if I if if you guys don't think this sounds as good, but this shit just 
sounds really good. It's just audibly pleasing shit. And I like to hear these. And I've been hearing this a lot too. I also, I also think in the Western music industry, a lot of artists have, have been bringing back 90s, 2000s. Like, you know, the boy band, boy, uh, girl band, boy band era. A lot of that's coming back. And I really like it. I know it's just a music video, but there's there's always something when I when I see bullying or uh, sexual harassment. There's something inside of me that just gets really pissed off. You know what I'm talking about? Which is a good thing. I think uh, most people would have that and most men need to act upon that and just not stand for that bullshit. I just don't fucking rock with this. Uh, I know it's a music video, right? It's like getting pissed off because of a movie. Like, it's a movie. It's meant to be like this. But I just wanted to, to point that out. So it's just, uh, yeah, for a lot of people that go through bullying or shit like this, um, music is, uh, is uh, a way for them to escape. And find some comfort. Kiss of Love. This is a dope group. Well, so far, I think what we've heard from Kiss of Life, right? It doesn't fit into the stereotypical K-pop sound, which is good because there's too much of that. You know, the stereotypical, uh, like, like Blackpink copies, you know what I'm talking about? It's not that. It's very much their own style with, their, with a swing to it. And I do like, I appreciate that because sometimes I'd, I'd hear... Uh, yeah, great vocals, absolutely. High octaves, so like hitting it, singing, crazy. Um, but sometimes you hear those groups and it just... Sure, they're skilled individuals, but they just seem like a complete knockoff of a previously successful group or group that is still successful, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, so when whenever that happens, when it's something completely different, I'm like, oh, nice. Or not necessarily completely different because it is reusing a, a genre that has been popular. But it's just, it's not the same as other stuff you've heard. It still has some type of originality to it, you know. They want to be different? I respect it, bro. It's, uh, 
I know people don't like me mentioning other K-pop groups when doing a reaction to K-pop groups, but fuck them. Uh, Y'all remember New Jeans? So, uh, New Jeans might not specifically be my cup of tea, audibly. Uh, like, but, but there's a lot of stuff that New Jeans does where I'm like, oh, this shit sounds really good. Oh, this is very different. And then I do like it. You know what I'm talking about? So there's a lot of songs of New Jeans where I'm like, this is this is fire because of mainly because of the reason because it's something I I have never heard before in in the K-pop genre. But then again, I don't know everything. What's up, Eshplum? Hey, yo, you guys, Eshplum, Eshplum is um has a K-pop channel. And he's gonna be. The, I'm gonna be introducing him to a lot of K-pop. K-pop, my man Eshplum over there, and we might do a little collaboration video on that. So if y'all interested in that, go check it out. I told him to check out Baby Monster and uh, Espa Armageddon. So that's coming to his channel soon. If it's not, if it's already out, Eshplum, y'all can hit him with a link right now, bro. There's there's four new mute. Yo, bro, I need to catch up. What is this footage from? This is some type of... It, it seems like some type of uh, abuse going on. What is that that last footage from? Um, they are so bold for speaking out about disrespect. Is that sexual assault, bullying, and disrespect and mockery against celebrities in a storyline that talks about how women are seen as always in the wrong when they fight injustice? Uh, Kiss of Life is making a brave stand by saying that violence and rebelliousness is a valid response to violence and oppression against us. This is so rare in K-pop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got that that was uh, the whole gist of it. Um, I like that the this this music video had Ocean's Eleven vibe. You know the movie Ocean's uh, Eleven and stuff? Uh, it had that storytelling aspect to it, which I really liked. A little bit of cinematography in there, which was really nice. It's very enjoyable to watch as well. And I like the, it's like a K-drama. I like the song as well. Uh, and I, I rock with the message of standing up against that type of injustice. Um, I had a, so in, in school a while ago, I think I was like 16, 17. And there was this this kid uh, in school and he, he was autistic. But he was, uh, you know, a lot of people are slightly autistic because it's a wide spectrum. But he was uh you know, you, you visibly, you could tell he was autistic, you know, um, and he got bullied, right, but he was, uh, I think a little brother of one of the, one of the guys, I didn't know the guy that well, but he was one of the little brothers of the dudes, and I was cool with him, and he said it like, yo, my little bro is getting bullied, like legit getting bullied, and we were like, I, uh, I guess, you know, if, if, if some kids from, from his year, you know, who are bigger and stronger, in group want to go bully someone who's quote unquote not as strong or not a capable of standing up for himself or not capable of dealing with that well i guess we got to resolve this and us being a few years older got to go talk to the bullies I have a conversation with them you know and that, that's how you handle that shit bro you just let them know like hey bro don't fucking do that shit again I'll beat the shit out you bro and uh and then you you, know, they, you get him scared and then that's how it stops. Um, I think that's uh, a lot of that shit is is gone nowadays. That uh, if you're getting bullied, fuck them up. You know, don't hit the face because uh, you can see that. Just hit him in the stomach a couple times. Uh, you can't really tell until a couple days later when the when you get blue spots or bruises in the face. You can tell immediately if something's bleeding. You get me? So um, yeah, you just gotta handle that shit. It's not wrong with hitting back somebody's bullying you if somebody's you know picking on you or slapping you just fucking punch them and then they, they'll they know like oh shit you know oh shit let's not do this now of course SA that topic is completely different and that needs to be handled completely differently as well but bullying specifically uh, also a lot of times the the bullies there's some issue going on in their household they are dealing with some type of mental issue as well. You know, like there is some type of uh, neglect perhaps towards them by their parents or some type of uh, 
emotional trauma they're going to, which is a lot of times the reasoning why bullies are bullies. But still, the act is, uh, you know, incorrect, and it needs to be corrected by conversations. Let's put it like that. But in the most respectful way, of course. 